Blendine carefully works the fields in the town of Bunia, situated in northeastern DRC. She was just 15 years old when she was raped by a UN peacekeeper. Back then, I was still a child. I saw a man and he jumped on me roughly after he had given me some little things like biscuits and sweets. Then he raped me. I was 15 years old. I had no idea it would lead to a baby because I was still a young girl. But then I found out I was pregnant. Her son Michael is now eight years old, but he has never met his father. He only knows the man was a United Nations peacekeeper from overseas. There are many girls here who share the same story. Some have been raped on more than one occasion. I didn't feel well at all. When I first fell pregnant, I was 11 years old. I wanted an abortion at first, but my neighbors and friends promised to support me through the pregnancy. That's why you see me with these children today. But I still feel the pain about what happened to me. These girls are just two among hundreds of victims of sexual abuse by UN peacekeepers. Despite pledges of aid, not a single woman has received any money. The UN had sent investigators around 2010 to investigate our case, and they had promised they would take care of our children, but nothing ever followed. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres has called on member states to punish any alleged perpetrators. And we are here to take bold, urgent and much needed action to root out sexual exploitation and abuse once and for all in the United Nations. The UN promises more reforms within the organization. We're trying to improve the ways in which individuals, if they have fallen victim or if they know of a victim um, of sexual exploitation and abuse, we want to improve the ways that they can come forward. We want to streamline access into our system so we can first and foremost get the kind of assistance that that victim may need immediately. At the General Assembly on Monday, 75 countries signed or pledged to sign a separate compact committing to preventing sexual abuse. And for the first time, the UN now has a rights advocate for victims. Tuli Shabalala, CGTN.